Hi, in this video, I'm going to be reading an email that I received from a viewer, and I'm going to do my best to answer it. So this is um, not prepared, so I'm just gonna answer it um, the best I can. So the subject is beginning to study maths, and the question is, hi, in one of your videos, I believe you recommended that beginners should start with discrete maths. If I'm not mistaken about that, I want you to explain why, please. To give you an idea of what beginner means in my case, I am 21 years old, roughly speaking. I'm somewhere around an eighth grade level. Thank you, Math Sorcerer. Yeah, so I think the video you're probably referencing is the uh, Learn Math from Start to Finish video. In that video, I gave people two options, the option to start with discrete math or like algebra. And the reason I did that is because a lot of times uh, when people go back and learn math on their own, they've just they've seen so much algebra it's just not that interesting right they're tired of you know adding uh, rational expressions and it's just sometimes it's not as fun right doing the same thing over and over again so discrete math kind of gives you another way to enter mathematics you start with logic and sets and that really has uh you know logic really has no prereq other than you're able to read a book um, so it really starts from the very beginning however um in your case you say you have uh, somewhere about an eighth grade level of mathematics. And I, I would say do both. I would say get a book on discrete math and also get a book on algebra. Um, I think maybe any book on like intermediate algebra would work and any book on algebra would work. My advice would be to go to uh, a website, maybe like Book Finder and just type in algebra and get a couple algebra books. Um, the one by Blitzer, College Algebra is pretty good. Uh, and then just pick up uh, any intermediate algebra book and maybe a couple other algebra ones. Depending on where you live, um, it will affect the cost. Like if you live in the US, you can get books that are really cheap for like less than $10 if you're not picky. So get a bunch of books uh, on algebra, start learning some algebra, and then maybe pick up one on discrete math if you like. Um, you didn't say like what your goal was. So like if you're going to go to college and study math or study like engineering or physics, then you definitely want to learn some algebra. Okay, it's really important. Um, if you're going to go to college and do like computer science, definitely learn some algebra, but also do some discrete math. And if you're just doing this for self-study, I say just do both, right? Get some discrete math, get some algebra, learn both so you can get some variety. So when you get tired of working on algebra, you can go work on something else. I hope this has been helpful. If anyone else has uh, any advice for him on where to start or any, any books you recommend, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Good luck.